Okay, let's talk about the four components of athletic performance. I came up with this concept years and years ago. I've been training athletes for almost 30 years now. And I tell you what, what I've found over the years that there are four essential components to accelerating your ability as an athlete. That I think as coaches and as parents, we tend to overlook. And I'm going to talk about the physical aspects. Now, this does not include nutrition, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, nutrition is very, very important. That's a whole lesson by itself. But we overlook these things because I'll tell you, these are so crucial to extending your athletic performance, to improving your athletic performance, to getting to the next level. Knowing your strengths and knowing your weaknesses. I have an old saying. Maintain your strengths and strengthen your weaknesses. So let's go over this. Let's talk about strength. The four components of athletic performance or performance. Strength. Strength is multiplanar. Multiplanar meaning you have to be strong in different planes of motion. Too many times over the years what I have seen are athletes that they're very strong in a linear motion. They're very strong when it comes to running straight ahead, but they're not very strong when it comes to changing direction without blowing a knee out, without getting hurt, or they just lack power or speed or change of direction ability to go from point A to point B at a 45 degree angle, or to stop, turn around, and go back this way. They lack that ability, directional change ability. That's multiplanar. Now they can run fast, straight ahead, but they're not necessarily good at transitioning in different directions. So you have, that has to be addressed in your program. So you have to be strong in a multi-plane motion, going straight ahead, going side to side, and even rotationally. Rotationally meaning like swinging a baseball bat, throwing a baseball, stop, turning around, going back this way, having to rotate. So those components must be addressed. The second one is balance. And balance is basically equilibrium. It's the ability to maintain your balance on one leg if you fall down, to get up, change in direction once again because change in direction, multiple change direction movements requires more balance than going straight ahead. Now straight ahead does require a degree of balance, don't get me wrong now. But when you're changing directions like this, all the time, having to stop and go back this way, that requires a higher degree of balance because you're loading the body more. You're putting more of what we call an eccentric load on the body. So those areas must be addressed. And you can do that, by the way. You can strengthen your balance by incorporating certain strengthening exercises in the strength modality here. The next one is timing. Timing is basically coordination, coordinated patterns of movement. It's the ability to change directions, it's the ability to, to uh, jump and change directions, it's the ability of a boxer to punch a heavy bag or a speed bag, it's the ability of uh, Peyton Manning throwing a football and hitting his receiver just at the right moment. That's called timing. Those areas must be addressed and once again, you might have great timing when it comes to certain planes of motion, like going straight ahead, but when it comes to change direction, you may not have great, uh, great timing skills. So, what I'm getting at here is you can, turn, you can tell by my terminology where I'm going is that you have to have abilities in multiple planes of motion. The next one is mobility. Now, this is an important one here. You can be flexible. Some people, some people confuse mobility and flexibility. You can be flexible without necessarily being mobile. Mobility is really the ability of timing, balance, strength, and flexibility thrown in there. Because a person who does, let's say, a lot of yoga has great, great flexibility. But you get them in an athletic field, and not, I'm not putting yoga down, but you get them doing some sort of athletic event, 
their mobility is not very good because they lack strength to change directions, because they lack strength when it comes to landing, because they might lack strength when it comes to dynamic explosive movements. So mobility is a combination of everything above here, timing, balance, strength, with flexibility thrown in there. You don't have to be able to tie yourself in a knot to be mobile. Because I've seen athletes that have come through my facility. Over the years, I was a strength coach for several years at the college level and the NFL level. I've seen athletes who are not very flexible, but you get them on the football field or the basketball court or the wrestling mat or the baseball field, and all of a sudden, he looks like a different guy. That person can move. They have mobility. Whereas on the other hand, I have seen people that can tie themselves in a knot when it comes to flexibility, but their athletic skills is lacking. So what I'm saying is that these four components are important in your athlete's ability. Now getting back to my statement about maintain your strengths and strengthen your weaknesses. If you've got an athlete that can squat 500 pounds, but that kid can't even hardly bend over and touch his toes, and his balance is not very good, he needs to emphasize some mobility drills, okay, and some balance drills in his or her training. If you got an athlete that can tie themselves in a knot, they have great flexibility, but their strength is terrible, their balance is decent, their timing is decent, well that person needs to work on that area. That's the area you need to spend your time in. You know, don't spend your time in areas where you're already great at. Uh, getting back to a person who can uh, squat 500 pounds, if all you do is squat and bench press, but you never address working on your balance, working on your timing, working on your mobility, then you're cutting yourself short as an athlete. You're losing that competitive edge. Because when you get on the football field, or the basketball court, or the softball field, or the volleyball court, or whatever sport you're in, you might have strength, but you're lacking in other areas of your game. So if you want to take your game to the next level, find what your weaknesses are, and bring those weaknesses up to a certain level. So, in a nutshell, the four components of performance, strength, balance, timing, mobility, find out where you are, address those areas accordingly.